Hi, my name is Dean Paul Deniston, and today we'll be replacing the wheel, the chain, and the chain tensioner on the Razor Crazy Cart. This is the blue model. Yours may be black and red. They are exactly the same. This is an easy procedure. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A four millimeter Allen wrench. Two 16 millimeter open end wrenches. And if you're replacing the chain tensioner, you will also need two 10 millimeter open end wrenches. This procedure can be done in six easy steps. Step one, removing the plastics. Step two, removing the wheel. Step three, removing the chain tensioner. Step four, installing your new chain tensioner. Step five, installing your new wheel with a new chain. And step six, reinstalling the plastics. If you're not replacing the chain tensioner, you can skip steps three and four. Now let's get started on step one, removing the plastics. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the seven screws that secure the left side plastic to the body. With all seven screws removed, we can slide the plastic straight out and set it aside. You don't need to remove the fairings on both sides. Rotate the wheel so the chain is on your side of the cart. You notice there's three screws that secure the chain cover, one Allen head and two Phillips. Using your four millimeter Allen wrench, remove that Allen head screw. With the Allen screw removed, we can now flip the cart over and do the rest of the work from the bottom. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the two remaining screws that secure the chain cover. Slide the chain cover out and away, and now you can set it aside. And that concludes step one, removing the plastics. Now on to step two, removing the wheel. Take your two 16 millimeter wrenches and remove the axle nut that secures the wheel. There's one on each side. You only need to remove one side as the axle will slide out of the other. When you get the axle nut off, slide off the lock washer followed by the flat washer and be sure not to lose them. Now you can slide the axle out of the other side. Just pull it straight out and set it aside. Inside of the wheel, there are two spacers, one on each side. Pull those spacers out and try not to lose them. Now we can remove the chain. Simply pull the chain off of the sprocket and pull the wheel straight out and set it aside. Now let's remove the chain. Simply pull it off of the motor sprocket. Take your chain and toss it in the trash. And that concludes step two, removing the wheel. Now onto step three, removing the chain tensioner. Using your two 10 millimeter wrenches, remove the bolt that secures the chain tensioner. Hold from the motor side and remove the nut from the other side. Once you get the nut off, you can slide the chain tensioner out. And that concludes step three, removing the chain tensioner. Now into step four, installing your new chain tensioner. Take your new chain tensioner, put the spring opposite the pulley, and put the bolt through the back side and through the spring. And for the small side of the spring, slide it through the middle hole in the bracket. Get it hand tight, and then use your 10 millimeter open end wrenches to tighten it all the way. And that concludes step four, installing your new chain tensioner. Now onto step five, installing your new wheel and chain. First, let's install your new chain. Pull the chain tensioner out of the way and wrap the chain around the sprocket on the motor. Take your wheel and put your chain on it. Wrap the chain around the sprocket now place your spacers in the wheel, one on each side. 
make sure the chain is wrapped around the chain tensioner and take your axle and slide it through the fork and the wheel. There's also a spacer inside the wheel. A trick to get the axle to slide through it is to take your Allen wrench or your screwdriver, slide it through from the other side of the wheel and adjust that spacer into position. This part's a little tricky, but keep at it and don't give up. Now put on the flat washer, followed by the lock washer, followed by the axle nut. Using your two 16 millimeter open end wrenches, tighten down that axle. Hold from one side, tighten from the other. With the axle tight, that concludes step five, installing your new wheel and new chain. Now on to step six, reinstalling the plastics. First, let's reinstall the chain guard. Place it into position, and using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the two screws that secure it from the bottom side. Now we can flip the cart back over. Using your four millimeter Allen wrench, reinstall the third screw for the chain cover. And now let's reinstall the fairing. Slide it into position, line up the holes, and with your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the seven screws that secure it. And that concludes step six in the process of replacing the wheel, chain, and chain tensioner on our crazy car. I hope you found the video helpful and informative, but if you're still having any other troubles or complications, please feel free to contact customer support at razor.com. Now get out there and have some fun. Bye-bye.